Hello everyone. Let us complete all the question answers of the chapter C of foliage from your English literature reader book. Now I have only written the answers here. Please copy the questions from your book and after you have completed one answer, draw a margin with a ruler and do this for every answer. I am just going to read it out for you. Let us start with the exercise understanding the poem. Answer 1. This poem describes a garden as seen in the morning and at night. We know this because the poem describes the different shades of green visible in the garden. These different shades from light green to grey to deep green can be distinguished only in daylight. The poem also describes the sight of the moon visible through the bamboo trees which is a night scene. Answer 2 Answer 2a There is so much foliage and greenery in the garden that it looks like a vast green sea. The different shades and levels of the foliage seem like the waves of the sea. Answer B The sea is not a dull unvaried green because the foliage consists of greenery of different kinds of trees with different shades of green or even other colors. The tamarind tree is light green whereas the mango trees are dark green and the simul trees look red. Answer C. The variation in the green color of the foliage makes the garden look beautiful. It fascinates and pleases the speaker to look at it. Answer 3. The speaker considers the scene among the bamboos loveliest spot in the garden because the bright moon looking through the dark trees appear particularly beautiful. The silvery light of the moon makes the white lotus look like a silver cup and everything seems to take on a magical shade. This beauty of the garden at that time makes the speaker gaze at it in fascination, feeling almost dizzy with wonder. Answer 4 This line means that in the moonlight the round white lotus seems to shine so that it looks like a cup made of silver. So understanding the poem is complete now. Let's move on to the next exercise which is appreciating the poem. The first answer is first A. Okay. This simile points at the tallness and straightness of the palm trees. Answer B. Another simile in the first stanza of the poem is over the quiet pools, the seamals lean, red red and startling like a trumpet sound. This means that the seamal trees lean over the quiet pools of water, red in color and presenting a contrast to the green around them. This contrast and difference may surprise someone looking at, looking at and around the garden just as the sound of a trumpet can surprise or startle someone who is not expecting it. What is unusual about this simile is that it compares a sight to a sound instead of to another sight. Answer 2 this poem asks us to look around the garden from one side to another as it points at different trees standing side by side from the tamarind to the mango to the seamals. It also begins by saying that the foliage surrounds the garden on all its side so that to see the foliage we have to look around. It then talks about the moon in the sky visible through the bamboo trees and goes on to describe the white lotus floating on a pool of water. 
thus making us look from the sky above to the ground below. And for the third answer, you have to pick A and C. Now this brings us to an exercises in your copy. And if you want to do it on your own, you are welcome to do it. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.